Welcome back YouTube. In this video, we tear the VR6 down and try to see what's wrong with it. The video hasn't even started and I've already made a huge mess. That is extremely clean coolant though. That's a good sign. So as you know, this engine was knocking. Look at how this thing mounts on the engine stand. You know, it's all the way off to one side. So when you pull that pin, it just wants to, almost wants to take your arm off. So first things first, I think, I think I want to take this oil pan off. Get the bottom off and see what that looks like. And then uh, we're gonna pop the head off. I'm hoping I can get away with some bearings, a couple of little parts here and there, new head gasket. And I'm gonna try to keep the head and everything assembled and just take it off and, you know, as least amount of pieces as possible. Hopefully I get this engine back together somewhat easy and uh, we'll get her going. But yeah, it's, it's extremely heavy because it's completely off center but it is what it is. Just have to have help rotating it. So first things first, I'm gonna clean this up and then I'm probably gonna make a mess with that and I'm gonna have to clean that up. All right, we've got the bottom off. First thing I'm seeing is that one. That one was loose. Let me roll it over. I found two or three of them that were loose. Here's another one. There and gone. Safe to say, this thing's gonna need a crank. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Uh, looking up in the cylinders, they look good up there. The block looks good. So, cranking rods and bearings. We should be able to get this thing going. Other than that, everything looks good. So he ran it with no oil in it, spun the bearings, and uh, here we are. So I think I'm gonna roll it over, pull the head. We can get these pistons out and go from there, figure out what it is we have to do completely to get this done. There's just no good way of doing this without making a mess. I got the valve cover off. And the cams are absolutely beautiful. I mean, super beautiful cams. So that's good. I'm gonna start pulling this cover off here, get all this front off, get the chains undone. Let's pull this head off, hopefully. I gotta say the chains looked good, nice and tight. Had great tensioners and rollers on it until I pried the cover off and kind of cracked this one here, you can see. But other than that, Everything in here looked really good. So it's a shame they ran this thing out of oil or broke that oil pan. It was a good motor, it would have lasted a long time. All right, so I'm gonna try to get this chain off here. It doesn't look like I have to pull anything else to get the head off. I think it's basically just those three there, those bunch there, and these bunch here. I think I can leave everything on the head and not have to take it all off. Not sure yet, but I think. So, we'll see. I'll let you know if I run into any issues. VW Stroker, ho oh. ho. All right, got the head off. Cylinders look predominantly really good. Lots of crotch hatching still. You can obviously see where they've been sitting. We're gonna clean these out, flip it over, pop these rods off, and then we can see just how bad this thing is. You can see that's pretty darn bad. I think that bearing is still on there. It's just ground in. You got that one down there. Uh, that one's pretty good, bad. That one's pretty good. That one's not horrible. And then that one there. So basically these two cylinders took it they took the brunt of the, the damage. Um, so we know we need a crank. Uh, these two are missing the bearing completely, but we've got good wrist pin bearings. All the pistons look beautiful. Uh, pistons are amazing. Uh, what I did notice is this one right here, uh, the wrist pin is, is starting to freeze up. This one's pretty good. I mean, they, they work, they move, but not easy. 
this one's good and this one so three out of six are frozen and i kept the bearings with them you can see all the bearings are cooked they just weren't cooked as bad as the other ones so now i've done some research and apparently the crank rods and pistons are the same all the way up to like 07 this is an 03 no i'm not going to tear that down and ruin a motor just for cranking rods but i did go on ebay i found a crank for 242 dollars zero scoring uh it's obviously used but it's a good crank and then i also found all six rods with pistons on them in great shape for 164 dollars and then we'll buy some new oem rings and uh, like all the rings look great on here we'll buy new rings and bearings and we'll throw it together it'll be a super budget build kind of um, i don't think i could do this any cheaper and still have you know oem quality as long as the crank has no scoring our rods have no scoring we have new bearings and our clearances are correct we should have zero issues um, we are going to want to buy another oil pump we know all that metal shaving crap went through that oil pump and then obviously clean up all these parts um, probably buy new head bolts i don't know if you can reuse them on this engine or not i have to do more research but that's where we're at guys the engine is tore down uh actually i might i might throw the big gun on here pop that pulley let's pop this crank out maybe we can uh we can see the state of the block because i noticed this is a lot harder to turn over than it should be i mean there's a lot of drag so the main bearings are shot this thing he definitely did not pull right over they tried to say yeah we pulled right over and shut the car down put an oil pan on it ain't no way so this thing got cooked it's kind of sad it was a good motor i mean the pistons are beautiful the rods we compared these rods to evo rods they're twice the size it's freaking nuts and you know evos are turbo you would think they'd have a beefy rod on them um we got a good clutch i found i can't find a 12 valve vr6 engine anywhere near me in decent condition to save my life i've looked i have tried to get out of doing this for two weeks now i've been trying to find a way i could just get an engine throw it in the car hook it up and be done and then have this sitting around possibly rebuild it later who knows um, i will continue to keep looking if i do find one and i do rebuild this i know these engines are worth a pretty penny because you cannot find them let me see if i can get this big old pulley off here real quick we'll get this crank out of here good god man that bad boy's on there there ain't nothing this badass thing can't get <laughs> I put that on there and it flew off. So I got to find the torque specs for that. And there's a tool that you buy that hooks up to here, bolts to the block so it doesn't spin. We're going to have to get that. We're going to have to get the cam holder tool. All the stuff you need to play with Volkswagens. So even with all that money spent, it's still going to be extremely cheap. We've got 850 into the car and you know just a couple hours playing with it so i don't really count labor when i'm doing this because it's i'm going to be doing this regardless if i'm working on my own stuff or if i'm trying to make money so i never really count labor uh until the end and then i count up hours and i figure out oh i made this much an hour or whatever so uh, let's try to get this crank out uh for the most part they it doesn't look too bad i mean you can see some scoring here where am i right here um but you look at the caps you can see 
Every one of them. Come on. Every one of them is burnt. Every one of them took heat and scrapage and no oil all the way through. Every one. Um, what is nice to see here is the bearings are still intact. Yeah, look. Let me try to get you in there. You can see the metal build up in there. It was just eating itself. So, yeah, I mean, I'm about to pop these bearings off and see. I think that, I think it survived. At least the block survived. As far as all this, I think the caps survived because the bearings were, were in there. So we're good on that. I'm happy with that. I need to clean up some of this oil before I bust my ass. Yeah, let's start peeling off some of these and I will put them with their correlated cap the block and caps all look great bearings you know took the hit but everything looks good nothing spun out you can still see the cross hatching from drilling it or boring it whatever it is they do to these honing it so we're good we got a good block we get an ebay crank ebay rods and pistons OEM of course and brand new bearings and brand new rings we get that oil pump switched out blast this block out all these oil passages we're gonna blast them all out clean it all out clean the block up slam it back together hopefully and uh, you know main thing is gonna be just cleaning everything look at that all just everywhere so it's not what I wanted to happen. I was hoping it was just gonna be a bearing or two, but you know, it is what it is. Looks like we're rebuilding this whole thing. And as of right now, it'll be a lot cheaper just to buy the eBay crank, rods and pistons, bearings, timing set, oil pump, and gaskets. It's gonna be a lot cheaper than a used motor that I'm still gonna have to put chains on, still gonna have to go through. This way, I know this thing is 100%. It's brand new. We got good clean oil in it. We'll throw a uh, high zinc oil in it for the first couple hundred miles. This thing will run for a long time. I'm not going to go crazy with rods and pistons. We're just going to go OEM on everything because that stuff lasts. Their rings are amazing. Uh, all the bearings, that stuff lasts forever. You start putting king bearings and everything and this doesn't work with that. Next thing you know, you're eating up the inside of your engine and you just spent three grand on it. We know how that goes because we've got a $3,000 Subaru engine in Chicago being milled right now that lasts 1,500 miles due to the tune. But I mean, it just, it happens. You spend a lot of money and sometimes it don't go your way. But I'm happy with this. I am going to wrap up get out of here I will get back to you when we've got parts and we start throwing this thing together let me know if you thought it'd be worse or you thought it'd be better if you want to see this VR6 run again make sure you subscribe you want to see that Evo run make sure you subscribe you want to see this 1J in this FRS run make sure you subscribe this thing's going together it's looking good uh, this is going to be a wicked, wicked car. So we got a drive shaft shop. Drive shaft for it. We got all our radiators, our intercoolers, our piping, everything. So we're ready to rock. One thing I didn't show you was the bottom of this head. I didn't even look at the bottom of this head. Let's, let's get it up. Oh yeah, it looks good. Got one valve open. Uh, predominantly though she's clean looks really good um, I'm happy with it look at that this thing just needs tons and tons of cleaning I want to make sure that this is flat which is going to be kind of hard to do with those valves in there they look like they stick down past the plane they do Man, this whole VR6 stuff's new to me. Uh, slam it down. There we go. 
Is that rod sitting? No, we're off. Say we don't want it sitting on that valve. But she's gonna go back together. It's gonna look good. It's gonna run good. And uh, we'll have pictures and receipts to prove that it's been rebuilt. Hopefully we can sell this thing, make some money, or trade it up for something else. And with that, I'm out of here. Peace.